Hi, surprise, it's me. I am here. I am fine. Um, I've had some people asking about me. I believe probably just the winter blues. This is Lori Armchair Chef. And welcome to my channel. If you're new, I have a few new, I've been having some people come over and normally I put up way more content than this and I haven't been doing it because I've been, um, I've been dealing with some issues, um, a little drama at work, you know, too many women in one place causes some problems probably hormones or something. I and mean, I don't have them anymore, but uh, everybody else, most of them do. So, you know, that causes problems. The men are no problem at all. It's just the women. So let's see that I'm going, oh yeah. And that's the other thing. I have a vacation coming. So I'm very, I'm looking forward to that. And I'm looking forward to doing some things and getting you guys caught up and maybe going to see a few things because the weather's warming up here in Utah and everything's starting to bloom. All the trees are blooming. Things are white, things are pink and, you know, allergies are coming, but uh, I would gladly take allergies to get rid of the, um, the cold weather. So we probably will have another storm or two and then we'll have summer, but um, right now the weather's warming up. So I really appreciate that. So I wanted to come on just to let you guys know I'm okay, but I'll, since I'm here, I want to show you a few things that I was working on. Um, this is the hat that Erin talks about where she just goes around and does a basic thing. So I thought, well, shoot, I'll just do it and I'll make it out of blanket yarn. And this is as far as I got. And it's like really big. It might go, if I, if I keep going down, maybe it'll go straight down, not sure. But what I might do is when this gets to a certain point, I might go to that hat for bod hat of blues and make the little ear things on it. I, I, I just saw people finishing it and I thought, well, maybe that would be interesting. I could do that with this hat. Um, go down a little ways and then make the ear things. So, okay, that's one thing that I've been working on. Trying to use up this thick yarn, you know, takes up a lot of room. Then this one oh this one i started from oh shoot what i drop another hook maybe i don't know this was from lisa happy to hook creations not sure how this one's going to turn out but i decided to do hers it was a card and it was like a checkerboard a, a crossword puzzle so I decided to grab my cotton yarn and make a round that checkerboard hat but instead of doing the whole thing checkerboard I found one that just does it in three rows so that's kind of what I was doing right now at the moment is doing the checkerboard but what i found was i have this kind of fuzzy cotton yarn and then i have the variegated cotton yarn so i was going to do the squares and the fuzzy stuff it's not showing up as a huge contrast which is okay but i've only gotten one row done so while i'm on my vacation i'll be working on this one too but that is Um, the crochet along that Lisa's doing with her greeting card. Now, the other one I've been working on, and I'm all caught up, the third section is, well, I'm on the last row, Crystal's crochet along, the shawl, her crazy shawl. And it's, it's kind of hard. I'm finding it kind of... Um, <sighs> Uh, 
she's going by the seat of her pants and just making it up as she go. And she's brilliant. She's so good at math that she can just do this on the fly and know exactly what stitches to do. It's incredible. It really is. And not undo it, not redo it, just keep going. So, but as a person crocheting, to me, it gets a little, I don't know, it's frustrating or just, I know it's supposed to be chaotic and it is very chaotic. Um, but well, let me show you what I've done. I decided to use the yarn I got in my Hirschner mystery boxes, the mandala sequin. So it has the little teeny sequins on it. This is um, some peaches grays. I know the light's not good because I've got my other side light on. And I've already done through one cake and I'm on my second cake. And I almost sort of color controlled it. When I got to, let me put my stitch marker in here so I don't, I can show you guys without losing anything. I started out with the dark color and because the beginning does a lot, the darker color is kind of thicker. It's sort of a little lavender color here at the top and then it goes to the darker gray. And then it just sort of started Let's see that's the back it's just sort of started um color color um controlling itself until i got to this darker one what i did was i cut out a white section so that i could start with the dark peach on that section and it's really nice i'm just kind of letting it go see now this last one was kind of the dark gray again and then it went light I think it's repeating this section here. So I'm on the last one for section three, which is the second puff. And uh, I want to get that one finished. So I'm ready for the next one. So yeah, this is really the first shawl I've ever made. Well, yeah, because I've made those like cocoon tops and stuff. But yeah, I don't know. How big is yours? The people that are doing this? How big is yours? This is like only about two feet long at the moment with three sections. I'm not sure how big mine's going to be. How many sections is she making? I don't know. But yeah, I don't. I would like to have something that I could actually, you know, cover the shoulders and just put a put a thing on it and wear it maybe like somewhere where there's a cold draft, a casino or inside of, yeah, casino. I'm planning on going to casino on my vacation. Mm, over to um, West Wendover. It's only an hour and a half drive, closest one. So I'm going to take you guys with me and, and, and apparently I'm allowed to record in the casino. So I'm going to do that. But yeah, I'd like to be able to have it around my neck and just take one of my shawl pins and put it together. So I don't know how much bigger it's going to be. I won't be able to take this with me, but I have other stuff I can take with me. But yeah, just wanted to poke my head out of my shell and let you know I'm doing okay. And I'm going to be putting some more content up. I'm trying not to eat so much because I lost 10 pounds. Um... So I'm really trying to be good. I'm, I'm focusing on protein and um, staying away from bread. And it seems to be helping a lot. So, yeah. I'm lapsing into a little bit of sugar, but pretty much if I'm staying away from the bread, it helps a whole, and then snacking at night getting that urge in my head. Now I noticed tonight I had an urge to eat something, but it was only in my head. It wasn't my, my body. It was just my psyche wanted something. So I have to, I've got an appointment with my nutritionist tomorrow 
and I'm going to discuss this with her because um, I think I can get some of the um, GLP, the semi-glutide from a compound pharmacy, a very small dose, and maybe just do a little boost of it every couple weeks to keep that head craving at bay because I can control my diet pretty good. It's the cravings at night. I just want to eat something. So I bought oranges. I had an orange. Um, I cooked up some pasta for my lunch for the week or for my lunch and a snack if I want something. I have a lot of ground meat from my um, food kits that I was getting. My blue apron and all that the meat that came in with it a lot of them I just got the boxes and put the stuff in the freezer so I had that last time I made a ground beef and a ground sausage and the pasta that was really good so I just made a sauce I used the prego spicy marinara and that was good and added some garlic powder and some parmesan cheese very good so I just decided okay I'm gonna do another pot of pasta and then I have, um, I went and got oranges. They were on sale at Rancho. And I found out, I'm watching a new channel. She's a carnivore diet. She does a carnivore diet and it's very weird. She was talking about the meat that she gets that you can get that's cheap. So she was talking about the chuck eye steaks and some of these things are a little tough. And, you know, when you have old mouths and things, you don't want a lot of tough meat to chew. And um, with the work I've done, my mouth stuff gets stuck in between my teeth really easy. So I, I always have to be cleaning that out after I'm eating stuff. So I don't want a lot of tough meat to chew. But she mentioned the short ribs and short ribs are the same thing as the flank steak, the, the, those Korean barbecue flat ones that you um, get at the, like the Hawaiian stores. It's the same thing, but cut differently. Now the short ribs I've gotten before and put in the uh, pressure cooker. Very good. Or I'll get a little, get the pork riblets and put them in the pressure cooker and cook them. Very good. But this time I went ahead, they had them for $2.99 a pound at the Mexican rest, the Mexican grocery store. And it was the Frank, those, those, you know, those, those, those the ones with the little bones in them. And you just take the bones out and give the bones to the dog usually because they're just little round ones. And then I take them away after they've sucked on them for a while. Then, so I'm marinating them right now. So I got two packages of those. That'll last me for the week, probably. And I'm going to put them in the air fryer and cook those up. But what she said, she said that go ahead and get the beef tallow and you can either cook it or eat it raw. Yeah. Have any of you heard that? Eating raw beef tallow? I eat a lot of things, but I don't think I would eat that raw. I would be worried there's something on it or in it that's not safe and make me sick, a parasite or something. So, yeah, that was very interesting what she said. But now I'm listening to what she's saying about the, um, the protein because I, I need to keep my protein up. And there's another lady that I watched that's... Um, low carb low carb love and she does a lot of things where she makes pancakes without carbs um she uses protein powder and stuff so i picked up some protein some vanilla i have chocolate but i got vanilla protein powder and um i'm gonna try doing the pancakes and uh so we'll see 10 pounds so far i got 20 more to go to get to where i'm supposed to to where I, I want to be um, 
where I'm supposed to be, I don't want to be because it's too skinny. I don't want to be that skinny. So 20 more pounds is another size. And, and I'm, yeah, I know she's stealing the show, right? You're not even watching me, listening to me. You're watching her. It's okay. I'm used to it. <laughs> let me let you go now. I just wanted to uh, pop on. People have been messaging me, asking me how I'm doing and uh, I'm just fine. I'm going to, I just been laying low and I'm watching everybody's stuff. I'm watching all your things and um, just getting ready to finish up all my mystery challenges. I have to go through and look up pictures and take screenshots from videos. So if I don't have your stuff, it's not going up. It's, it's late now. If I can't find it, I'm just going to, put up what I've got and um, go through. I'm, I'm searching my email and I'm going to go through the playlist of videos. And if I have it, I have it. If I don't, I don't. And um, I'm going to put, put my videos together and I've got a good time to do that this week to spend being creative and do all that. So it'll keep me, uh, it'll give my hand a rest. My hand was hurting because I've been crocheting every single day to get this thing caught up, but I got to go to bed. So I'm going to save this for tomorrow. I don't know when her next one's coming out. She's been doing it like every five days. Where did I drop my hook again? I don't know. Where did I put it? Oh, there it is. I find I like the metal hooks and the Odyssey. I really like these. I may start looking for some of these i know they're probably going to be expensive because i might be able to find some somewhere but yeah i've got a few of the good sizes but the metal hooks i like the metal hooks so what i might do is maybe i can do okay those of you that do the knockoffs is there a knockoff like this that's metal the shape because i like the shape and the metal is smooth so like the omi from that people are buying is there a metal version do you know if there's one let me know give me the name of it if you know there's one okay because i i like the metal ones and you know and i pick these i pick these up um the other ones up i pick them up when they're 12 bucks and um and i'll use them but i'm really liking the metal it's just smoother it's easier on me i'm not struggling with it as much but yeah. Okay. I shall, I'll see you on the other side. Tomorrow's Friday or Thursday is my Friday, my last day at work. And then I'm off for like 10 days. I have a lot of things I want to get done. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> good intentions. What, what is it? The road to hell is paved with good intentions. <laughs> yeah i have a feeling that's where where my good intentions are going to be going to hell <laughs> so okay thanks for watching thanks for showing your concern and um i will i will see you soon very soon okay bye